I don't know. Anyway, I'm Black Bright, broadcasting out of the UK. And yeah, my parents are Jamaican, so I'm going to talk about a Jamaican situation today. Well, it's actually a Jamaican celebration. Uh, when we was in Jamaica in September, we stayed at the Grandiosa, which is on Top Road um, in Montego Bay. And it was undergoing renovation works and oh my God, you know, people came and they left and we persevered because we thought as a small hotel, you know, support our local people and stuff like that. And you could see the vision, we could see their vision being a beautiful hotel when it's finished. Anyway, so we stayed there and um, as I was reading um, Jamaica Information um, Service, they do this newsletter. They were saying that Clayton, what's his name? Clayton Elliott travelled 149 kilometres from his home in Yorktown to Yorktown Clarendon to attend classes in event production at the Grandiosa Hotel. And, you know, my ears pricked up. What? That's at the Grandiosa. That's where we were staying. But, you know, it's more than that, though. I guess... It did kind of um, touch a chord with me because we stayed there. But also, this is about a man who is only is 27. I shouldn't say only 27. He's 27. And it's the dedication he showed to qualify. It was a three and a half hour commute to, from Montego Bay each day for a total of seven hours. He used to wake up five o'clock in the morning, do his studying and his homework on the bus. Because by the time he got home in the evening, he was knackered. Mr. Elliot tells JIS News that he would begin his journey about 5 a.m. every morning to ensure he reached his classes on time. I hardly had time to study. I hardly had time to do my notes. I had to do it on the bus. So the best thing I was it was try to reach at least half an hour before class. And then get prepared, he says. You know, these are the kind of traits for success. You know, that dedication, that determination. You know, leaving the house regardless of how far the course is. Can you imagine? Three hours, total of seven, three and a half hours, a total of seven hours a day travelling. And so, you know, and he, he, it's good use of time. You know, instead of, you know, falling asleep on, on the bus or on the coach or whatever he took, you know, he's studying and he's doing his notes and he's, you know, making sure that the time is not wasted so that when he goes home he can sleep. That's what I'm saying. These traits are pe these are traits of people, successful people. So while the journey was long and tiring and many would have given up, the 27-year-old says he was determined to complete the skills training program and get the certification he needed to get a better job. That's 27 is the age when so many people, you know, they just can't be bothered. You know, we're in an entitled society these days. Young people, they feel entitled. They don't want to have to work too hard. They want stuff given to them on a platter. And I'm not saying all of them, but a lot of young people these days, they don't have that zeal to go out and work hard like their forefathers. Some of them think, why should we? You know, and when you see people um, on entertainment shows and winning all this money and getting all this fame and fortune just through singing, some people think, you know, why should I work hard? And go through all of this when John Joe just got a contract for $1 million so I can do the same so they don't want to work. They just feel as though, you know, they should get it easy. And for one person can do it, they can do it. And they don't see why. So that's what I'm saying. It's a credit to this young man, Clayton, that he, regardless of the odds, got up and had that determination. He said, I needed to, I needed a better skill. I need to be certified. I needed to go out into the world where I can showcase myself, he says. On December the 16th, Mr. Elliott was among 32 persons to graduate from the Event Production Skills Training Program organised by the Jamaica Social Investment Fund, JSIF, in partnership with M Academy. 
which is a training institute of the main event entertainment group. He was named one of the top two top male performers for the program and won the award for most outstanding student in the area of lighting and also received a certificate for best attendance. And that's an accomplishment, you know, sometimes, you know, in, in Jamaica, some people have this lackadaisical attitude and can ju they just drag their feet. They don't, you know, no look at energy. They, you know, they feel as though they can turn up, not just Jamaica. I mean, a lot of um, people, you know, mostly islanders, you know, they used to have this uh, black man time. You know, they say, oh, yeah, I'll be there in 15 minutes and all, oh, you know, all oh, two, three hours, the person don't come. They just say, soon come. So they used to call it black man time. You'd, and they used to even adjust, you know, any event they had, if it was going to start, if they were inviting black people, they would say, OK, it's starting at six. when It was really starting at seven just so that people could arrive on time and you'd still find people late. So it's a credit to um, Clayton Elliott that he got an award for being the most punctual. Uh, Mr. Elliott says he's grateful for the experience and is excited to take advantage of the opportunities that training and certification will bring. I'm really grateful to be named top male for the program because I try to do my best. I hope to get a better job so I can better financially and uplift myself, he says. Social media manager at JSIF Gresford Bennett hails Mr. Elliott as a shining example for young people across the island. This is the motivation that we talk about for a young man to hear that here hit that there is an opportunity in Montego Bay and for that person to travel from Yorktown in Clarendon every single day to come to Montego Bay to accept this opportunity that is the kind of spirit that will move the country forward he says in the meantime Siobhan Lee from Granville St. James who shared the top male performer award with Mr. Elliott says he is grateful for the training program. That 44 year old father of five who was the oldest course participant tells JIS News that he was determined to make use of the opportunity in order to improve the economic status of his family. 44 years old and he too was determined and diligent and got his qualification. So it's really nice to see resilience and determination because it's so easy for the mind to get lazy and become demotivated. And a lot of people are, they say, you know, I can't get a job, can't do this. So they don't try, they don't look for other opportunities. The thing is, if you want to be successful, you always have to look at opportunities. And remember, it's all about timing. It might not be your time. But it doesn't mean that you give up. It doesn't mean that you get demotivated. Just always be on the lookout for opportunities and especially ones that you are interested in, especially ones that complement you and your character. It was a good opportunity that I thought I should take advantage of where I could learn another skill that I could use. It is in demand right now and event production is one of the highest paying jobs you could find right now he says i tell you something i have a friend and she said she's starting off next year um doing event planning you know she's doing all you know anytime there's a wedding or any kind of event she's going to decorate the tables and the chairs and set up all the little bits and pieces on the table She's getting 800 for that. But I tell you something, that is where her talent lies. I remember she used to stay at my home and I always remember going up into, into her room and seeing the way she decorated everything. You know, like when you have those beds and you go into some of these um, uh, showrooms and they have the satin drop falling over the bed and then they have the satin pillows and they're propped up and you know they have ah oh, and drape here drape there and it looks just looks so beautiful and it makes such a difference 
And I used to just literally love going up into that room to see how she decorated it. So now she realises that's her talent. She's now, obviously, she's attended some events or she's offered her services and someone has seen how good she is. Now she's she's got three venues already. The year don't even start yet. £800 a time. And they're providing the material. So that 800 is hers. But that's what I mean. You just have to look for opportunities. Look and identify your skills and know what you're good at. And when you see opportunities like this, training opportunities, any opportunity, you just grab it with both hands. And like, even if it takes you a seven hour journey a day, you have to want it. So Mr. Lee received individual awards for best performance in staging and audio, as well as most punctual. It was a good experience for me. I am thankful for the experience that I could learn to do something that would benefit me and my family and my community, he adds. The event production skills training program was undertaken through a $21 million in funding from the JSIF under its Alternative Livelihood Skills Development Program, in brackets ALSDP. Some 106 young people across the island have now benefited from the training since its introduction in April. I don't know if that's April 2019. Hmm. Would that be feasible to say in April? Well, it's only a six week course. Is it six or seven weeks? Yeah, it's quite a short course. So I guess it's feasible that it would be April 2019. JSIF have pumped more than 300 million into ALSDP, which targets close to 6,000 youths in 18 communities across seven parishes, providing training in event production, film, and digital animation, among other areas. I'll tell you something if I was in Jamaica, I'd definitely jump on that. Film production and digital animation. Because, you know, sometimes, you know, even with my um, YouTube videos, they're so bland, you know, and I'd love to be able to, you know, do all these fancy stuff and inject all those lovely pictures and, you know, do some good covers. But to be honest, when you're working full time and then you've got to come home and do certain things, it's, it's not easy. But there will be a day when I can spend more time and I can make it a much more snazzier um snazzier video platform so thank you for bearing with me with my plain and no frills video channel anyway they are drawn from st anne clarendon st james westmoreland kingston and st andrew and st catherine that's where all these um six thousand news came from they came from those areas and the last part the initiative is a component of the world bank funded integrated Community Development Program Project, ICDP, which runs from 2014 to 2020. So it finishes next year. So, you know, you really have to look out for it, peeps. You know, if you're interested, if you're living in Jamaica, um, the World Bank is funding Integrated Community Development Project, ICDP. Or you can contact the Grandiosa Hotel in Montego Bay. Ask them you know, what other courses are available, whether it's too late to get on it and see what they say. I don't know if these people had to pay or whether it was because it was funded, it was offered free. I really don't know. But it was a Jamaican information service that um, I got this information from, so you, can, you might even want to contact them. But it's worth trying, you know, anything's worth a bash. And that's all for now. Bye-bye.